My name is Nina Wolf, and I'm the co-owner of Animal Nature, which is a, a nutrition and supply store for cats and dogs and rabbits and other small animals here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So we found out about the Little Free Library um, by just running across an article um, about it in uh, a feed. And it piqued my interest because we have a lot of walk-by traffic here in our store. Um, we're close to a park. Um, it's a very walking, friendly neighborhood. Um, and so I started to think about um, whether it might be the right fit for us. We're also very heavily into supporting recycling and reusing. Um, and so is the neighborhood in general. Um, but we, we collect people's bags instead of buying our own and that kind of thing. So it seemed to kind of fit with the, with the neighborhood. Um, and it's worked out very, very well. Um, we've put books in a couple of times, mostly just because I have too many books and I end up bringing them in. Um, but it has supported itself quite nicely. And we have many, many people, let's say, probably seven to ten people a day that we notice stopping by and putting books in and taking books out. So yeah. I've been very pleased. In essence, what you do is you put a, 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 a box and there are many different sizes and styles and shapes and that kind of thing. Um, you can build your own, you can order them from the company that um, kind of supports the founder of this movement. Um, but they're essentially just waterproof boxes um, and they're, they're open. There's, there's doors on the front and just simple latches and they open and the community shares books through these boxes. Um, so they're just tiny little libraries um, and some of them have themes like mysteries or children's books or whatever, but most of them are just generally um, open to, to the neighborhood. You don't, you're not actually expected to return um, the books once you're through. It's just kind of a take one, bring one, whatever. Some people, I can see them coming up and bringing a load of books and walking away. Sometimes I see people come up and take a couple of books. It just all kind of works out in the end. Any single point that can bring a community together to share is important. Anything that um, causes people to recognize shared interests is important to bring a community together. Um, I think when people come by here and they see the books that people have dropped off, things that they're interested in, um, they see that their neighbors have similar interests. It might spark conversation. Um, people standing out here looking through the books sometimes start to talk to each other about the titles and then they wander off together talking about it. It's like this little pop-up book club. Um, we have a bench out here as well and sometimes people will sit down with their little stack of books and you know start chatting away about things. And um, So it's just another little uh, meeting point um, and you just can't have enough of those little touchstone. There is a website um, and it gives the history of the movement. Um, it also has some links to uh, places that build um, a variety of styles of kind of stock little free libraries with signs on them that say give one take one and you know kind of explain why this box is, is on a post in somebody's yard or in front of their business. They also have this really wonderful map um, so that when you do purchase one through them, you, it, it comes with a, a number and you can register it and then there's a map of all these little free libraries. So if you're someone who likes to travel around the country or you happen to be, you can go visit somebody else's little free library or send your, your friends and, um, and acquaintances there. So it's, it's really kind of an interesting thing and, and the idea is to spread this, this movement throughout, um, you know, the. I guess the world, but certainly the country. Um, it's also important, I think, to, to recognize that our libraries are getting less and less and less funding, and that reading is um, getting uh, less and less time in the schools. Even we used to have library time when I was in in school. I don't I don't think 
I can't think of any local schools that do that anymore. So, um, you know, it, it all kind of comes together, at least for us, in, in a lot of things that we believe in. And it's, it's a wonderful way to, uh, to spread this throughout the country. If, if, you know, people see it and they say, oh, that's so cute, that's so cool. Go to the site, see where else they are. Oh, I've had a lot of good conversations with people about the books in there, yeah. Um, in fact, somebody um, somebody picked up a book and they, they came in to say, I read this book like 10 or 12 years ago and I couldn't find it anywhere and I couldn't remember exactly what the title was but and they were just wandering through the bookshelf out there and they found it and had been, you know, kind of picking it up and looking at it and this that's, that sounds like it, and started kind of paging through it. And yeah, we've had people find um, letters and notes in books that people had forgotten about, and they bring them back in there, and they say, "I don't know if you know who left this book, but they might want this," <laughs> and that kind of thing, you know. Um, but yeah, it's it's been it's been wonderful, a really wonderful experience. A lot of people just come in to say, "This is great. We're so happy you have this here," and they'll post it on our Facebook page and stuff too. So. It's been a great experience. Yeah, the people, um, I called, there's a contact number on their website, and I called to talk to them um, initially while we were kind of deciding what size to get and that kind of thing. They were some of the nicest people, I have to say. They were really wonderful people to talk to and work with. So, um, yeah, if you're wondering what size or, you know, if it's going to be really okay in, in your kind of weather or, you know, whatever, just give them a call. They're very, very nice people.